What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we can bring raw Blackmagic camera data into After Effects. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And so this plugin that actually just made absolutely free, I'm going to leave these links down below, but here's the website that you need to go to to download it. And so I'm at autochroma.com. I came over to B Raw Studio, which stands for Blackmagic Raw Studio. And all you have to do is download it. Right now it's version 2.7.1. But if you're using Windows or Mac, it doesn't matter. You just download it, install it, and then here's some of the stuff. I'll leave this link down below as well, of which you get with the free version versus the premium version. But I've been using the free version and it's been absolutely fine. So let me actually come over here into After Effects and I have a brand new project open up right now. This is After Effects version 2022. So as of right now, it's the latest version. And for this example, I'm gonna be using the Blackmagic Raw Pocket 4K. I shot my daughter's hamster inside the hamster cage there. And so I have some raw footage here. If I come over to my folder, you can see right here, we have Blackmagic Raw Clip right here. And I'm just gonna click and drag it into After Effects. And you can see, we can actually see it inside the preview window now, which is really cool. So I'm just actually going to make a new composition, drag it down into the timeline there. And you can see we have it in here. So I have my Blackmagic raw footage. It's not an MPEG or anything. You can see right here, it is .b raw and it's playing inside of After Effects, which if I hit zero on the keyboard, you can see I'm starting to do a RAM preview and everything. And it's playing absolutely fine. This is about an like eight gig file and it's playing with no problem. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If you're shooting on any type of Blackmagic cameras and you wanna keep it in a raw format, we can now bring it into After Effects and we can even bring it into Premiere as well. So if you're a Premiere user, you could use the same exact codec for that one as well. So hopefully this little nugget helped you guys out. I know me personally, I shoot everything on Blackmagic, especially for my YouTube tutorials. So being able to import this stuff now natively into After Effects could only help out. So if this did help you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Leave me a big thumbs up, helps with the algorithm. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, especially for all my motion graphic tutorials that I post here on my YouTube channel. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. i see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.